Hello everybody. I usually don't upload two game pickup videos right next to each other, but yesterday was kind of interesting. Uh, my wife called me while I was at work and said that one of her D&D friends, my wife plays Dungeons and Dragons, um, contacted her and said that his dad had a box full of games and some systems and wanted to know if I'd be interested in them. And I was like, hell yeah, you know, I wanted to meet up right after work. So we're talking over the phone back and forth. And my wife was trying to explain what he was saying, uh, what they had. And he, I guess it was, you know, somewhere around 20 games and a Super Nintendo, a Dreamcast, and some Dance Dance Revolution stuff, like a map for it. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, you know, and she says, uh, apparently they're, they're looking for like $350. And immediately I was like, well, shit, if it's like 20 games and two systems, I, I know I'm not going to be able to come anywhere close to 350 bucks. But I'm like, you know, I'll still meet up with them. Maybe there's a couple, like, really good games in there. Um, so after work, we meet up. And uh, I thought I was going to meet up with him and his dad. But it ended up just being him. So it was a little bit easier. It would have been kind of uh, odd to try to work a deal with two other people at the same time. But it was just him. And um, I, I ended up getting most of the stuff. Uh, I didn't take about... 17 games or so, like, just really, you know, not interesting games. And the actual, the DDR mat was actually uh, one of the, like, large professional wooden ones um, that uh, was for the Dreamcast. Um, they wanted, like, 150 for that just alone, and I, we, I don't have enough people, you know, that would be interested in DDR, and I can't ship that mat anywhere, so um, I passed on that, but... The stuff I did get, um, it's an odd lot of things, so it's not going to probably blow your mind or anything, but it's still kind of interesting. And the main reason why I'm doing this video right now is because I'm going to take this stuff to the flea market, and there's a good chance that, you know, a decent amount of, of it would have sold, and then I wouldn't be really showing you everything I just got. So I apologize for two pickups videos back-to-back. -back. Um, this won't be 18 minutes long, though, because I know at least a couple people got, like, scared by an 18-minute video yesterday, so this is going to be shorter, I promise. Um, I got a sealed copy of Eggmania Extreme Madness on the Xbox, uh, Worms Blast on the GameCube, and actually all the games are in really good condition. These were apparently uh, a payment, like, uh, someone owed his dad money, and they didn't have the cash, so they said, here, take a bunch of random game shit, so no clue where they got it from. Uh, Super Monkey Ball 2... GameCube, um, Klonoa 2, PS2, we have uh, Tetris 2, Super Nintendo, a really nice conditioned uh, Final Fantasy 8, it just has a crack on the back of the case, but basically like a new copy of it. <clears throat> um, Yoshi's Story, that's one of the better titles in here. I'm totally, I have them in plastic bags, I'm just grab it at random. Uh, Tetris Attack. Um, Sim City, Pokemon Puzzle League on 64, you got uh, Parappa the Rappa 2, Choo Choo Rocket, Dreamcast, Pandemonium on the PlayStation, Space Channel 5 with her kicking leg there, Dreamcast. Um, Bust a Move 4, South Park Chef's Love Shack, uh, Lemmings, and oh no, more Lemmings, Tetris Plus, uh, Dr. Mario 64, uh, this is probably, I guess, the, one of the best games out of here, uh, Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. Magical Tetris Challenge 64. On to the second bag. Um, that was it for the games, I believe. But then I got a very big bag of e reader cards. Most of them are for Animal Crossing, but quite a bit, like that many right there, the white part. Um, are all for uh, Super Mario 3, which I've been looking for cards for Super Mario 3 to play the like extra levels and bonus stuff, so pretty cool um, that there's so many in there. And then a 
sealed pack of Animal Crossing e-reader cards and a sealed pack of the Mario 3 cards. And there is also... Hold on, where are they? They're around here somewhere. Um, well, I'll show you the system. Oh, never mind. I'm, duh, they're in here. <laughs> There's a bunch of sealed packs of... Um, like Donkey Kong Jr. and a few of the other games in there as well. Then for the two systems I got a uh, Super Nintendo Model 2 and this just has the power brick, um, no controller, no audio video cables and then <laughs> I really don't know why I grabbed it but it, it's the Wavebird little adapter for the wireless controller for the GameCube and then I was pretty surprised that it was this version, um, but the Sega Sports black version of the Dreamcast, and I tested it out and it worked before I bought it, just to, just to be sure. And this uh, luckily did come with its cables and its controller. And then finally, uh, definitely the oddest thing out of all of this, a boxed um, <laughs> entire maraca set of Samba de Amigo. It's in pretty decent shape. The box actually had a lot of red duct tape over the front, which I removed it all. Um, it only did a little bit of like damage to the box, but it looked, you know, gross having all that red duct tape on there. So, um, but this is complete. Even has like the little instructions inside. So this was a pretty interesting find. Um, for all of this, I paid a hundred bucks. Um, so I mean, it was it was a fairly decent deal, uh, especially it being you know like the harder to find version of the Dreamcast in the Model 2 Super Nintendo. So that's it, just an interesting After Dark game pickup. Um, a couple other things I want to mention real quick. I was contacted by a few people that pointed this out to me. Um, there's a guy by the name of Elazar Galindo Navarro who is creating a brand new Super Nintendo game. Um, it's a 4-in-1 multi-cart and basically he's trying to you know get the funds to do it through Kickstarter. Um, I am just letting you guys know this, if you're a big Super Nintendo fan, um, and you would like to check this out, I'm not saying go give him money on Kickstarter or anything, just go check it out, I'll leave the link down below, um, it's pretty interesting anytime anyone creates a new game for a system that has been dead for many years, so, um, like I said, I'll leave the link, uh, in the description down below, and basically, um, you guys have a wonderful day. Thumbs up the video, please. And also, uh, I'm still trying to get every episode of Video Game Sellers to have over 200 thumbs up. Uh, the last episode is pretty damn close. Go back if you didn't and thumbs that bitch up. And I will talk to you all later. Peace!